Hi there, I'm Dr. Scott, the paleontologist. During the Mesozoic era, above the heads of dinosaurs, there were lots of different kinds of birds. But there were also flying reptiles that were not birds and not dinosaurs. We call them pterosaurs. And pterosaurs came in all shapes and sizes. Some of them were huge, like Quetzalcoatlus, with a wingspan about 50 feet wide, the size of a small aircraft. And some were really small, like Nemecolopterus, only about 10 inches tall, that were a lot like small birds, say ravens, little predators. And these larger pterosaurs were kind of like the albatrosses we see flying across oceans. These animals were phenomenal. They had hollow bones, so they were light and they could fly easily. And many of them were huge. Some, like Pteranodon, had big crests on their heads. And we all know Pteranodon from the Pteranodon family. All of the Pteranodons fall into this group called pterosaurs. And they lived in the Triassic, the Jurassic, the Cretaceous, and the very last pterosaurs died out 65 million years ago. So, the next time you look up into the sky and see a small airplane flying overhead, imagine instead that that is a giant flying reptile, a pterosaur, cruising above you. Hello, folks. It's me, the conductor. It's winter solstice and the kids are so excited. Hope Mr. Pteranodon and Larry Lambiosaurus get home in time to celebrate. So come on along with me on the dinosaur train. All aboard! Winter Solstice Day! Solstice Day Badoompa! Solstice Day Badoompa! Happy Winter Solstice, kids! Mom, is Dad here yet? Oh, sorry, kids. Dad's not here. Yet. But I promise that he will be home for Winter Solstice. Dad would never miss it. <laughs> Where am I? Is, is that a train? <sighs> North Pole. Still not home. Yeah. Larry! I was having such a wonderful dream. I was at home eating leaves. Better not have been my leaves. I did hear a train. Come on! Happy winter solstice! I got old engine number seven train running again. Uh, she can be persnickety. But for now, all of the <laughs> Winter solstice leaves, so good. Come on, Mr. Pteranodon, try some. I'm not hungry. Well, what's wrong? Well, nothing. I'm just thinking about my family, that's all. Mm, yeah, I miss my family, too. Uh, I just can't wait to be in the comfort of my own nest, surrounded by my wife, my buddy, tiny, shiny, and... Would you stop chewing so loudly? That's how I chew! I can't just start chewing all quiet! Hi, 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 guys! Where's your winter solstice spirit? Come on! Let's all get along and focus on our goal to get you to home! Mom, when will Dad be home? Oh, very soon, Shiny. He'll come flying in with some wild story about what happened today. And of course, he and Larry will have lots of red platinoids. And then we'll decorate the big feast with them. Yay! Yay! I can't wait! Can't wait. Can't wait. in the Triassic time period, end of the line! What? The Triassic? Do you know how far from home we are? Mm -hmm. Over a hundred million years! Over a hundred million years! Oh, that's a lot of years. Oh, 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 that doesn't sound good.